All right, so I just had my single biggest win on my small E-Trade account. I started the year with roughly, or actually exactly $2,000. It is now up to 4,200, so I am up more than 100%. And it's pretty much, a lot of it is due to this one trade on GRNH. So I wanna talk about this um, real quick. You know, GRNH is still, it's basically unchanged on the day, but it, it did hit a high of 11.8 cents. I actually sold at 11.7 cents here. Here's my actual E-Trade uh, alerts, and you can see here I made $1,057. Um, I bought yesterday at 8.65 and 8.68. Uh, so let's do the math here. 35,000 shares. Let's just call it uh, .0868. Just take the higher number just to make it easy. So I bought. $3,000 worth and I made $1,000. That's why the name of this video lesson is how to make $1,000 on $3,000 because a lot of people want to learn this and this is the exact kind of trade. Um, so first, how did I know to buy it? First of all, you got to watch my How to Make Millions DVD. Watch my Spike Ability DVD. They're both on sale right now if you go to timpsychsale.com. Um, I know that it's cheesy for me to say, oh, just study my DVDs, but it's true. Okay, How to Make Millions is 35 hours long. Spike Ability is still not finished yet. I've, I've already released about six and a half hours. It'll, we still have another few hours that I'm still going to publish. But you start to understand what creates this kind of stock spiking and how to predict it ahead of time. Um, it's not always going to be this perfect. Obviously, this is my biggest win, you know, coming like in the fourth month of this year, but it's a great example. Um, and that's why I, I like talking about it. Also, Penny Stocking Part 2. This is straight out of Penny Stocking Part 2. But long story short, you know, this is a weed stock that has been spiking, and I bought on the first big green day. I didn't buy TRTC because it already had three big green days, and today's a red day. Not surprising, as I warned in the watch list last night. CANN also had three big green days, and today's a red day, as I warned about in last night's video lesson and in the watch list overnight. So I don't like buying after three big green days. But after the first big green day, and this wasn't, I mean, this is a huge candle, as it turned out. I was buying it in the eighth when the candle was big, but it still wasn't this big. Um, and, you know, perhaps it's not going to have three big green days because, frankly, this just went up too much too quickly. And then this morning, uh, it was just a gift here at 11.7, you know, and, and when I sold, I sold right at the open um, within like a minute. And I sold at 11.75. That was the best price you could have gotten. And, you know, if you look at my trade... I also made a few hundred on MARA, but that didn't spike that much. I'm now up 4.395 million, and it's all on trades like this. It's pretty crazy. But here is my trade, um, and I said I bought the least extended weed stock. That's spiking. Sorry for the, the typo. I'm trying to get these uh, alerts out quickly. Sometimes I'm going to have typos. But I specifically did not buy TRTC or CANN because they were overextended. So I said, this is just the first big breakout day. Goal is to make 15 to 30% overnight, ideally selling into a morning spike tomorrow. This is exactly what happened. And in fact, I actually underestimated it. I made nearly 35% on my money. But this is what I'm talking about when you, you go in with a plan. And I say, this is a very speculative sector. So this is a very small position. You know, I only risked $3,000 on trading. Uh, I started the year with 2,000 at E-Trade and 12,000 at Interactive Brokers or 10,000 at Interact Brokers. So 12,000 total to start the year. Um, my E-Trade account is now roughly 4,000, and my Interactive Brokers account is now roughly, well, I, I combined it with another account, but uh, the 12,000 has now grown to roughly 25,000 overall. So I'm up 13,000 on the year. So when I start the year with 12,000, uh, you know, and now I'm up to 25,000, and before this trade I was at 24,000, I was using roughly 15% of my uh, account balance, you know, on this trade. So let me just do this math. I used 3,038, and I had roughly 24,000 in my account. So actually, 12.6% of my account. So 
That's a very small position for me. You guys have to choose what makes you comfortable. You know, I've been trading for nearly two decades now, so this is a small position. For some of you, if you're just trading or you're just, you know, starting, guess what? 12% of your account might be a big position. You have to do you. You have to focus on you. But for me, this was a very small position and it just worked out very nicely. And I'm glad I can show you, you know, how nicely it worked out. Uh, but this is also called a gap and crap uh, pattern where, you know, this was far and away the best case scenario at 11.7. Uh, you know, I only wanted to make 15 to 30 percent. I ended up making 35 percent and then it crapped out. It's still holding up, um, though. You know, it's still up now a little on the day. Um, probably because, you know, it's a chart that wants to break out, but its sector is dying. CANN is actually just tanking here. Um, and TRTC is, is tanking a little bit too. So its sector, its industry is down, but the chart is so strong. And this is what you have to recognize. Respect price action. Let me talk about another stock that's moving right now, RPRX. Yesterday, I saw my whole chat room shorting RPRX. And I'm like, why? Are you guys shorting RPRX? I get it. Tim Britani likes to short into, you know, morning spikes. But this was a green day yesterday. So yesterday, RPRX had this morning spike, and, and a lot of people were shorting it in here in the two sevens and two eights. And then I saw it, you know, in here, okay, two five. So you could have made, you know, 15, 20 cents. But then it, it, it has higher lows, and then it's holding up here at 270, and people are still shorting it. And, you know, right here around 325 right around here. Uh, it was trading at $2.70 a share. And I said this, this is the beauty of having timestamps in the chat room. I said, this is having a very tough time. Um, I won't buy it until it clearly break out, uh, until it clearly breaks out. But I specifically said at 2.22 PM, I'm not a fan of this RPRX short idea. I think it's more of a potential buy. So at 2.22, which is, uh, 22, right around in here. When it's trading around 264, I was not looking to short it. I said potential buy. Um, but then right around here, you know, it wasn't breaking 270, so I was like, I, I can't buy this until there's a clear breakout. As it turned out, a few minutes later, there was a breakout, so I, I probably should have been long overnight. But I was busy with my GRNH, you know. So I was on the right track, but I missed the actual trade on this, and you'll see that happens quite a bit with me. But the good news is this time stamping, this is why I, I post everything in the chat room, so you can see my thoughts. And even though I wasn't in RPRX, and you know I, I wasn't sure that it was a buy, I knew it wasn't a short. And that is the key to success. Not always nailing the trade, but being on the right track and understanding price action. So i got to give props to so many students today, and i got to follow some of these students. Uh, here's Trina. Uh, she was long TRTC in at 34 cents, out at 59 cents, and she made 670 bucks. So she nearly doubled her money. Uh, Ephraim uh, was in GRNH at 9.9 .9 cents, out at 11.4, made 463 bucks. Uh, Adam started the day off. He's an actor, and so he's he's going to a, an audition. Look at those eyes. He's a young, like a young Christopher Reeves. Um, but he made 272 bucks. So congrats to Adam on a $2,000 account. So when my you know, video lesson is called how to make $1,000 on $3,000, that's best case scenario, okay? If you can make 30% overnight, you take it every time. I didn't care if GRNH was gonna go to 20 cents and I could have made more. You take the 30%. Uh, in Adam's case, you know, he made, what, 10, 15%. You take it every time. Whether you make 10 or 15 or 30 percent, this is how you grow your account. This is exactly the strategy that I've used to make millions. And I know it sounds crazy. Trust me, I get a lot of hate and a lot of confusion. You know, oh, it's so easy to make millions. It's not easy, but it is possible. And if you focus on trades like this with good price action, good volatility, good volume, I mean, uh, the volume already on GRNH, I'm filming this at 10.24 a.m. Eastern. So the market has been open for an hour and it's already traded 18 million shares. Yesterday, when I bought, I think it was trading 30 million shares. So I'm not saying trade illiquid penny stocks, um, but trade them when they're hot and you know when they're breaking out. RPRX was a nice breakout today. So congrats to so many of you guys. Um, also, Alexander, you gotta follow him too. So many of you guys, I, yeah, I'm just, 
in awe and, and just so impressed with a lot of you guys. Um, and he reached his daily goal in RPRX at 279 out at 333 for a nice 20% gain on 400 shares. Um, and that's beautiful. You know, whether you make 10, 15, 20, 30%, it is possible. And I like this daily goal. You know, I don't like to set specific goals like, okay, today I want to make $1,000. But I do like you trying to take the meat of the move and recognizing, okay, this is what this strategy is all about. If you take 10, 20, 30%, that's awesome. Um, and then also Dan, got to give him props. He was in at 275 out at 315. Um, and he's excited, 320 on the fucking day. And he sent this to me pre-market uh, at 825 a.m. Eastern. So pretty sweet to show these guys. Um, so many more students. Skull uh, was in uh, GRNH at nine cents. So he either sold at 10 or 11 and made, you know, 100 or 200 bucks. Optimus Prime uh, was in at, I think this is a typo, so probably 0.093. And out at point eleven seven. So what's that? Point one one seven minus point oh nine three divided by point oh nine three. Look, I'm good at math. So he made twenty five percent on his money. Good job, Optimus Prime. Too bad your movies suck lately. Um, here's Major Hitman uh, made three hundred fifty. International J, uh, you know, made eight hundred ninety bucks. Uh, Streelock. Uh, made 42 cents a share on RPRX. Skull made 27% on GRNH. Beautiful pattern, literally out of penny stocking part two. And I agree with that. Uh, congratulations, Skull. Turbulent Surfer says, thank you. Training helps me sold. GRNH got in with 16,000, made 272 bucks. Highest profit so far, no more trades. PDT going back to sleep to prepare for a film. Oh, that was the, the actor. So that's awesome. Um, here is uh, Blackfoot. There was an emoji, a little dancing emoji. He was in at 270 out at 323. So awesome job making a thousand bucks. Spartacus made 291 bucks. Largest gains yet. I am Spartacus. Major Hitman says thank you, Tim, for all your invaluable education. Uh, I was losing money in January and February, and after joining Penny Stock and Silver and watching your DVDs, I'm up eleven hundred and sixty dollars after seven days of trading. This is actually probably the best. Um, you know, it's not to say that you're guaranteed to make money, but once you have the right rules and the right discipline and the right outlook and the right perspective, you know, never following any of my alerts. People are like, well, Tim, you're taking credit for all these people with RPRX. You don't even give the alert. Correct. I don't give alerts a lot of the time. I don't want you to follow my alerts. I want you to be self-sufficient. I'm prouder of the students who are doing the trades all on their own, respecting price action, going after the chart. You know, I give commentary. I was on the right track, but I didn't make the actual trade. What you'll find is that my students oftentimes do better than me. Tim Grittani in his first four years has nearly doubled, you know, the money that I made. He's up 2.8 million. I'm up, I made 1.6 million. So. I don't mind when students do better than me. I, I, I like it um, because frankly, you know, I never had a guide and that hurt my education. You guys have a guide. You have no excuse. The only excuse you have is if you don't follow the guide and if you don't follow the rules or the lessons. People are like, oh, you're just a DVD salesman. Yeah, I'm a DVD salesman. Guess what? My DVDs fucking work. And we don't even have DVDs anymore. If you don't want, you can watch them streaming. Okay, we've evolved. I'm a seller of education. I am a glorified driving instructor. I make no amends for that, you know? It's okay. It's okay to accept who you are because I know how valuable my education can be. And this is awesome. You know, Major Hitman says $1,100 after seven days of trading. Um, and he was losing money before. So glad to get you on the right path. Uh, here's Skull, uh, GRNH dropping pretty hard. Glad to be out at 0.116 from 0.091. Uh, J Powell, RPRX in at 257 out at 311. Only 400 shares, $120 profit. Thanks again when it broke resistance, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, then he made trades again, uh, made 298. Good luck to everyone. See you in your power hour. So he's only trading the first hour of the day and the last hour. And, and you can do that. You don't have to trade all day. Um, and then Matt Tool said uh, MARA was the other one uh, where he bought it at 221 and sold it. This is another typo. It should have been 235. It never got up to 335. But he spotted the news early. Um, and here, oh, by the way, GRNH just keeps coming up. Pretty impressive, actually. Uh, 
uh, MARA was this morning spike. Sometimes this happens. You know, I was buying it in here in the 220s. It got up to the 260s. I didn't catch all of the move. Um, but this company reported a nice uh, settlement against Apple. Um, and Apple was paying them, I think it was like 20, 25 million dollars. So pretty good for a small company. You would think it just keeps spiking. But for whatever reason, there were big sellers and, you know, it faded. I made, I don't know, like 10, 15 cents a share. It did not do exactly what I wanted, um, but it was spiking. So this is what I look to do. You know, if you're looking for an easy how-to guide, obviously watch my, you know, DVDs. But if you want to keep it simple and you want to be lazy and you don't want to watch all the DVDs, at least do me this favor. Wait for stocks to have already spiked. Don't try to spot the news first. Don't try to be first. If you are first, that's cool. You know, stocks to trade helps, as some people are learning with MARA. Uh, and yesterday, uh, what was the stock that they spotted first? I don't remember, but there was news yesterday. Uh, where was it? Let me look at my Instagram. I highlighted them. Too many people lately. Uh, AMDA. Okay, that was the play yesterday. Um, and, he, and Chris used stocks to trade. So if you use stocks to trade software, you will oftentimes find that you're first um, spotting the news. But if you don't use stocks to trade and if you don't want to be first, it's okay. Um, what I like doing is playing, you know, piggyback on stocks that are already spiking. Uh, what I find is, you know, there are people who are always scanning the headlines, always looking to be first, trying to find breaking news on a small company that will spike it. But that's also a tough, tough way to live. For me, I'd rather let the market flesh out which plays are the best. Um, and MARA was already up when I bought it. The news was already there. Uh, I think it was Adi Trades in the chat room uh, who, who mentioned the news. And, you know, other chat rooms started picking it up and, and news services started picking it up. And it had a little spike. But then it did not hold. So I don't want you to think that every single time you just buy a stock that's spiking, and you're going to make $1,000 on a $3,000 position. That is not reality. It is a possibility. You know, there's, there's a lot of in-betweens. You know, there's a lot of people who say penny stocks are, are totally irrelevant. Uh, it's a guessing game. It's a coin flip 50-50. Um, you know, all this misinformation. And then there's all these bullshit free penny stock newsletters that just try and lure you in. And they're like, we had win 100% of the time or 98 or 95% of the time. In reality, that's not possible either. So is it 50-50 or is it 100 to zero? It's neither, you know? My top students and I are winning roughly 65, 70, 75% of the time. I know that sounds impossible, but this is why we show every single trade. On MARA, you know, even now at 208, I was in at like two, what was my average, like 218. I'd be down 10 cents if somehow I did, you know, hold, but I don't because when the stock doesn't do what I want, I get out. That's why it's, it's very less stressful the way that I do it. Um, but for all intents and purposes, MARA is a scratch. GRNH, on the other hand, was a 30% win. So sometimes you're going to have scratches. Sometimes you're going to even have small losses. Uh, but sometimes you are going to have, you know, 30% winners. And if you add all that up, if you add up the scratches, if you add up the small losses of 2, 3, 4, 5%, the small wins of 2, 3, 4, 5%, and the occasional 10, 20, 30% winner, it adds up to you making a lot of money over time. It's not right away, you know, my E-Trade account is only 4,200 now from 2,000, so it's not like how to turn 2,000 into 100,000 in a month. That does not happen right now in this market. It could happen, you know, in the bubble market. And if you're really aggressive, I've seen it happen. Uh, my student Azimjan has turned 2,000 into nearly 300,000. And I have some other students who have done incredible things with small amounts. Um, but don't expect that, you know. If you can go from 2,000 to 4,000 um, in a few weeks or a few months, that's damn good. That's better than almost everybody else in the world. And that's all I want to show you here, you know. So GRNH, great play, momentum, and, and perhaps I should mention this. I mentioned this on, in last night's video. Um, this has a history of spiking. So unlike, M, like really spiking, unlike MARA or RPRX, I mean, this went one time, once upon a time, just two or three years ago, went from four cents to over a dollar. So short sellers are scared shitless, and I would not be wanting to short a 10 cent stock. Um, so it has a history of really spiking. So it's your job to remember 
which stocks have these big spikes. And this is part of the beauty of my DVDs because I've cataloged hundreds and hundreds of these former runners so that you can start to get a feel of how they run. And I'm not saying that it's going to go to a dollar again, but it starts showing signs of potentially running again. And you recognizing that it's a former runner, you recognize that short sellers are scared, you recognize that traders, you know, have memory of these former runners and they're like sharing on little chat rooms and instant messages and Facebook Messenger, oh, GRNH is running again. So it all builds up and that is what creates the perfect recipe for 30% wins where you can, you know, basically invest $3,000 and make $1,000 overnight. I'll see you guys in the chat room. Thank you.